Wait, they make shoes just for parkour? Of course they do. Wait, there's a whole micro economy and culture. What a nerd. Today I'm gonna open up the Parang Elevates and I'm gonna check them out, wear them around, see what they look like, share my thoughts on them with you. So, I may have opened up the box before, but that's not super relevant. There's the, the, the box, oh, the unboxed, wow. That's it, guys, you can go home now. Okay, so the Parang Elevates come in this really nice bag. So let me try them on and then we'll see what they look like. GoPro battery started overheating earlier and it smelled like burnt plastic. It was so scary. So I had to run to Walmart to get a new GoPro battery. That's why I filmed the intro of this video in the Walmart parking lot. I was gonna film it in a much better location, the parking lot of the gym, but I had to leave and go to Walmart because my GoPro was dead because it ran out of battery apparently. Now that I got these on and we see what they look like, I'm pretty happy with how they look, but uh, we're gonna go see how they hold up at the gym. Let's go. All right, we have the gym. Let's get it. So I know what everybody's thinking. How do these shoes parkour? I'm here at a little park in New York and I'm gonna check out these shoes, see what they're made of, see what they can do, see what I think about them. The biggest thing I would say I noticed about the shoe is that it's got a nice reinforced heel here. Like when I was standing here, my foot, foot's pushing back. It's really nice and it holds my heel really well. Whereas the majority of the shoe is made out of a really nice mesh, as you can see. And it's super breathable and flexible and lets your foot move around a lot in it and have a lot of mobility, which I really appreciate. And then the toe is reinforced with this rubber, which really helps when you land on stuff and your foot slides forward inside the shoe. That's the number one place that parkour shoes are going to be worn out first is the toe. If you train a lot of parkour in any shoe, the toe will just eventually slide right through the shoe. So having this layer of rubber is really nice. There's a lot of room for the toes and for the heel. So you can get a lot of freedom of movement with your foot, but it's very nice to have the reinforcement on it so that when you do end up doing some high impact things and sliding around in that foot a little bit, it feels secure and it feels held inside the shoe. But this is definitely, definitely a solid shoe, just as comfortable, I would say, as the Elevate Ones but the mesh is really nice and I definitely think it's quite a bit of an upgrade. So this is Frank's second shoot. They released their Elevate One back in 2018 
and I had that shoe for uh, ever since it came out. Uh, it's been my like favorite pair of sneakers, but I've only had one. I never managed to get a new pair until just recently. And when I went on the website, I saw that they actually had a new shoe, the Elevate 2.0, which has got this mesh design, which is pretty new and a slightly different look, but it's a little lighter and a little more lightweight, a little more breathable. Same Elevate Parang shoe awesomeness. They're amazing, they're comfortable, they're really durable, they're really versatile, there's a lot of freedom of movement. These shoes are awesome. The only complaint or potential con that I see about these is in the manufacturing quality. In a couple places it leaves a tiny bit to be desired, but this is definitely better than the first one. Some of the paint just completely wore off of that. But the design is impeccable. The design is beautiful and gorgeous and it's just in the materials. Or right here there's like a little bit of foam stuff, you know, that could be like a little smoother, a little cleaner. Some of the stitching around here could be a little cleaner, but it really doesn't need to be. And really, if you think about it, when it comes down to it, the guys at Farang are making sure to get these shoes to us at an extremely affordable price. These are even more affordable than the first ones, which I thought were for like an average sneaker, very affordable, not to mention a niche parkour shoe, especially from a brand such as Farang that is so sought after because of their prestigious name in the parkour community and because of the extremely good manufacturing quality that their clothes are all known for. Usually they've got like $40 shirts and stuff, but this was like a very affordable shoe. So anything about the manufacturing quality is not really in how the shoe holds up, it's just in the aesthetic look. And as long as they still get these shoes to us at affordable prices and they work as well as they do, I could not care less about like a little rough plastic on the seam or some stitching that looks like, it's fine, it's fine. It, honestly, it's fine. These are like nine out of 10. I give it a nine out of 10. If the manufacturing was as thoughtful and had as much attention to detail as the design, then it would definitely be a 10 out of 10. But I'm gonna have to give it that nine out of 10 for what it is right now, but I still think you would have to sacrifice uh, a lot more money to get a shoe that is, you know, manufactured just a tiny bit aesthetically better. So it's really, it's a good bargain for a good shoe. I would recommend going out and getting a pair of these for yourself. They're awesome. And now for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the orange. This orange. Do a subscribe.